Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Hey guys, welcome back to Battle Bell Canine Dog Training. We do a lot of protection work. We have a lot of protection dogs out there. And one of the responsibilities of protection dogs is to maintenance them and to break in their owner's house to see what the dog will do after they've done training. So today we're gonna to head out to Richmond Hill and we're gonna go do some protection dog training with a Belgian Malinois, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a German Shepherd. Her name is Chichila. We've been training her since she was about 20 weeks old and now she's like two. And then we're gonna to go to Jessup, Georgia and we're gonna go break into a house and work with a Belgian Malinois named Guapo and we've been working with him for about a year and a half. Both uh, clients are about two hours apart, so we've got to hustle to one end of Georgia, do the training, and also do an interview with the client, and then hustle to the other part of Georgia, do the training, and do an interview with the client. All right? We try to show you guys in-depth information about protection dogs and the training. Of course, I'm on a treadmill because you need energy to wear that big bite suit. So, if you guys want to see more stuff, share, like, and subscribe. Keep us active on the page so we don't go dormant. And uh, enjoy. And hear what our clients got to say about us, you know, and watch us. So, I look forward to it. See you soon. All right, so we got our home invasion stuff, we got our bite suits, we got our shoes, we got our gun, we got our bat. Um, we got some sleeves in case we have to work the dogs. Uh, if they're not succeeding in training, we've got harnesses. I'm making sure we got everything before I bag it up and we load out. So we got everything we need. So we're going to start getting ready to pack up to get out. We even got our knife and our uh, agitation stick. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot of stuff. You got to get organized. Um, and you got to be prepared to do this work with the dogs and safety like these little sleeves right here. Especially with Guapo, he's gonna try to bite through it. All right, so we got the bags all loaded up. We're gonna take everything but the cat. <laughs> <laughs> we got all our equipment. All right, Anna, let's go break in some houses. Roger that. Put a little turf on them. Hey guys, welcome back to Madison Bale. So today we actually with fam a Garcia family and uh, Guapo. Guapo been with Madison Bale in training for uh, actually last year. So uh, we're here to get the feedbacks, how's Guapo doing, and uh, basically find out more information from him to uh, see how he's doing basically. Um, so let's start with the start. In the beginning, um, how did you came to Madison Bale? How did you discover? Um. When I got Guapo initially was through a different trainer, mm -hmm. um, and he he was all beast. He he had no impulse control, nothing. Mm -hmm. And the trainer actually worked with y'all, and y'all were doing bite work one day, and uh, he he invited me to come over and bring Guapo. And of course, uh, I think he had already brought him by one time. And, and uh, I took him on the road with me a few months before I had even went to y'all. Mm -hmm. And he was uh, a what? lot more calm, mm -hmm. uh, as, as uh, Carter put it. Right. Um, he said I, he could see the work that I had put into him because uh, he, he was just all over the place. He had Fair no enough. out. No, no, nothing. He the just switch he, was up, but yeah. He just knew uh, <laughs> go. Gotcha, so. gotcha. As far as obedience goes, how was he with that? As far as he still um, was out of control or his obedience when I got him, he knew it. But uh, just like any other relationship with an animal, you got to build that trust. And 
for me it was i was more fortunate because i was with him 24 7 in my truck so gotcha. uh, we build the bond yeah we bonded pretty quickly that's awesome now as far as uh, uh, protection goes how safe did you feel when you brought guapa back home after finishing the training um i i feel confident um just like any other dog i mean you have to keep eyes on them because they're right. gonna what about as far as your wife how she felt about it your children um they're they're comfortable with them uh when we first got them you really had to watch what you did um as far as like running or doing throwing balls or um he had a big thing with guns little toy guns right. uh, people on bikes he he would see someone on a bike and just take off after him mm -hmm. he wouldn't attack them but he still feel kind of threat to the family yeah I, wa I was worried for a little while that something was gonna end up happening where i had to put somebody down yeah <laughs> well not really put him down i was just worried that he wasn't gonna be the perfect fit for us because we're in a neighborhood and everyone has kids and right, right. i was scared you know he he was gonna end up being more suited to be you know, in a canine unit or something like that where they're pretty much under lock and key. Right. Or they go home with that owner. How do you feel now about him as far as the protection with the children now? How, how you feel about it? Um, I, I, I feel great. Um, he's more laid back now. Um, you can see he's, he's not as jittery or jumpy. So he's all, he's, he's just, accustomed to the family life now so right. to speak so he's doing good that's good now as far as like a, a follow-up with the training um did you take it to the medicine bill with the follow-up after the training finished like two weeks uh, um what do you call it um follow-up refresher. Follow i'm sorry <laughs> yeah we uh we go every few months actually um Pretty much any time I notice he's getting super hyper or has a bunch of built up energy, I, I just call Carter and he's always like, bring him by, we'll, we'll, we'll get that energy out of him. That's it. And uh, normally that, that first bite, he's super excited, so he's just kind of doing his own thing and after that, you know, it's back to... He, know, he knows what he's doing. Right, so which we're going to see it also, uh, which we're going to do a home invasion. Uh, first, we're going to start in the yard and then we'll continue in the house and see how Guapa reacts and how he's going to handle himself to protecting this family. You guys be good. I'm Anna. Have a good one. Good boy! Oh, it's sound of the bells when the law gone And the boys unleash hell when the war's on Bloodthirsty when the doors put their paws on You go tell them that they go a little bit of blows on Put them on the battlefields where they can And ignorant niggas that's trying to miss what I said, huh? Your man's a bitch, you put a purse on them Get them wild niggas, throw my red dots on them I'm the general, I can be worth something My soldiers is ready to put a black house on them Bring them to the wake, wreck them in a wreck We and throw them in the pit and throw a little bit of dirt on them on them, throw a little dirt on them Trigger fingers in the air, put a little work on them Work on them, put a little work on them Trigger finger in the air, put a little dirt on them oh, 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 stop. Put a little dirt on them Good oh, boy! Guapo, come, 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 Guapo. Good boy! Good boy! Put a purse on him. 
Oh, good boy. Bob Bob out. Come. Lay down. I feel everybody. <laughs>